Hello, good morning. This is Rick Pinion. I bring you today's word for September 10th, 2015. This message is part of a series entitled Grace-Based Success, where we have been learning how to win in life and how to do it God's way by his unearned and amazing grace. We've been studying the life of the Apostle Peter. Our study has brought us to Matthew chapter 14. And for quite some time now, we've been looking at a passage in Matthew chapter 14, verses 20 to 29, where Peter walked on water. We've been learning different things about this event where Peter walked on water and what that means to us today. The title of today's message is Building Your Own Set of Experiences with God. If you want to be successful, if you want to live by faith, you are going to have to build your own set of experiences with God. Experiences do something for you that reading the Bible, just simply reading about God could never do. So let's get into it. So there they were once again. After 3 a.m., the disciples are in a boat. They've been battling wind and waves for hours. Jesus was off praying by himself. Jesus comes walking on water to them. They think he's a ghost. They get afraid. They cry out. Jesus says, don't be afraid. Don't worry. It is me. He's saying, do not be afraid. It is me. And all 12 disciples heard it. Only one spoke out. His name was Peter. Peter said, Lord, if it's really you, then tell me to come to you on the water. Bring me up to your level. You're walking on water. You're doing the supernatural. If that's you, give me the authorization. I want to come up to your level. I don't need you to come down to my level. I need. I, I would like to come up to your level. Tell me to come to you on the water. Jesus said, come. And then the Bible says Peter left the boat and he walked on water to Jesus. He left the boat behind and he got to experience Jesus in a way that none of the other disciples experienced Jesus. So what does this mean to you today? I have seven things to share with you. So let's get into them. Number one, living by faith is a journey. See, reading about God is one thing. And we know that faith cometh by hearing, hearing by the word of God. So you need to hear the word of God. You need to, to read the word of God. Yes, faith is coming when you are reading the word of God. Faith is coming when you are hearing the word of God. But in order to live by faith, you are going to have to experience him. Reading about God is one thing. But to live by faith, you are going to have to experience what you read. Reading about it is good, but you have to experience what you read. Number two, godly experiences take you up to God's level. And so it's one thing, as, as humans, we have this tendency to want to bring God down to our level. And what God wants to do is bring us up to his level. Yes, it would have been easy for Jesus to get into the boat with Peter. That would have been Jesus coming down to Peter's level. But no, no, no. What happened was Peter came up to Jesus's level and God would do the same thing for you. Instead of you bringing your God down to your level, your God will bring you up to his level and give you an experience that will do something for you, something for your confidence that simply reading about him never could. Number three, see supernatural experiences help us build our confidence in God. See, reading about the promises of God, reading about the exploits of God, reading about the power of God, reading about these things are good. But when you experience it, it does something for your confidence level. It helps you build your confidence because at that point, you, you, you can never, no one can ever take that experience away. So when you experience it, like, okay, let me just make it real plain. You could tell your kids, don't, don't touch fire. Fire's going to burn you. Don't touch fire. Fire's going to burn you. They could read about it. They could read about the effects of fire. They could read about the impact that's, that, that fire will have on your skin if you if you touch it. They could read about, you know, all kind of 12 steps of this or 12 impacts of that. At the end of the day, touching that fire and experiencing that heat does something for them that reading about it never could. That's what happens when you get to experience God. God wants you to have your own experiences with him because when you experience him, it does something for your confidence that simply reading about him never could. Number four, when you actually experience God in the way that you've been reading about, it fuels your faith and it quells your doubts, right? So you're called to, to walk and live by faith. You are commanded to walk and live by faith. And, and for you to live by faith, you have to overcome your doubts. You have to doubt your doubts, right? You have to overcome your doubts. And your experiences with God help you not only to fuel your faith, but to quell those doubts. When those doubts come, no, 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 I've been through too much. I've experienced too much. No, you can't, you can't even come to me like that. No, I have, I've been through, I've experienced God on a way, on a level that now I can doubt that. I doubt those doubts and I have faith in my faith. I live by faith and I quell those doubts. Number five, in Matthew 10, 
We dealt with this for weeks. In Matthew 10, we studied Matthew 9, we studied Matthew 10. In Matthew 10, Jesus told his disciples, now you go heal the sick, you go raise the dead, you cast out devils and demons, you lay hands on lepers. And oh, by the way, you can't even take any money with you. You're going to have to believe God. You are going to have to trust God for it all. And, and Peter was part of that team, and, and they went out, and they experienced the supernatural. And so here we are. They experienced the supernatural in Matthew 10. Peter got to experience God in a supernatural way. So now in Matthew 14, he was ready and willing to get out of the boat. That's what experiences do for you. When you experience God, not just read about him, when you experience God, when you live it, not just read about him, then it helps you to, it helps take you from faith to faith, from glory to glory. It helps build you up to the point where now you're ready for the next experience. Number six, walking on water had no practical benefit. <laughs> Let me just kind of make this point. I mean, I, I think this is actually an important point. Walking on water had no practical benefit. It wasn't like Jesus took a little boy's lunch and fed 5,000 and he was actually feeding people. Or it wasn't like um, um, Pete, Jesus was laying hands on the sick and watching them recover. So no one was healed. No one was fed. No, this was just Peter walking on water. And it wasn't a magic trick. It wasn't abracadabra. It wasn't done just to kind of, you know, show the other disciples some type of manifestation of, of God's glory. No, in this case, I really believe this was for Peter. This was an experience that Peter had. Peter got to experience walking on water. Peter got to experience what Jesus was doing. Peter got to experience uh, God's power over natural laws. And I'm sure that that did something for him that reading about God never could. And that did something for Peter that, that, that fueled him for the rest of his life. That's what supernatural experiences can do for you. Number seven and finally, your experiences with God actually help produce your testimony. Your experiences produce testimonies for the glory of God. You must experience God. Yes, you. I'm looking at you. Look at me. You need to experience God. Not just read about him. You need to experience him. So he will allow you to experience him. So call out for that. I mean, yearn for that. Tell God that you want to experience him in a way that you've been reading about. And once you do, you will never be the same. Let's close this out with a declaration of faith. Speak this over your life now from a believing heart. Say, Father, I thank you for teaching me about your grace and also my requirement to live by faith. You want to bless me richly. And when you bless me, you bless me by grace. You also want me to receive the blessing. And when I do, I must do it by faith. In order for me to walk and live by faith, my confidence level has to be strong. This is where my experiences come in. You allow me to experience you in ways that are truly supernatural. When I do, my experiences help take my faith to another level. Reading about you and your power is one thing. And seeing you work in the life of someone else is also good. But experiencing you for myself does something for me that is hard to explain. Thank you, Father, for going out of your way to allow me to experience you on a consistent basis. My experiences with you fuel my faith and quell my doubts. I have seen too much, been through too much, experienced too much to doubt you now. I walk and live by faith, and my faith is emboldened by my experiences with you. I declare this by faith in Jesus' name. Amen. This is today's word apply it and prosper. If you're not getting these messages, go to todaysword.org, sign up, you'll get the messages. There will be a blessing to you. As you head into this day, just open your heart to experience God. He wants you to experience him. And once you do, it would do something for you that simply reading about God never could. Now go experience God today. God bless you.